What's up guys, it's your boy Flying Pokeball and today I have some homework and I'm going to be productive in two ways, entertain you guys and read you a story from my homework, but there's some questions on this, but I'm not going to ask you guys to do them because I know probably none of you out there like homework, so I'm just going to read you the story. Story time with Flying Pokeball. Okay, the story is called Pool Time, and let's get started. Mary M was so excited that she could hardly sleep. The community pool was opening tomorrow in her neighborhood, and even though many of her schoolmates in her neighborhood had pools at their house, or apartments. Mary Ann didn't let no okay, Mary Ann did not. So now that the pool was opening, she couldn't wait at her expense. She had a bag packed with her bathing suit or bathing suit sunscreen and a beach towel all she need all she needed was a friend to go with her Maryam called her best friend Natalie which what time should we go to the pool tomorrow Natalie she asked knowing that Natalie loved the pool and expecting her to say some some time soon the better. I'm actually busy, Natalie he said hesitantly. I have to work on an important project. I'm really sorry, Miriam. But we can go soon. Miriam was disappointed because she couldn't think of anything more important than going to the pool. School was out for the summer, so Natalie couldn't have any homework. The next day, Miriam went to the pool alone. She spread out her towel, applied her sunscreen, and swam. But it just wasn't any fun without Natalie. That night, Miriam called Natalie again. Do you want to go to the pool with me tomorrow, Natalie? I'm sorry, Miriam, Natalie replied. I'm still working on my project, but I'll be done soon, I promise. For a whole week, Maryam went to the pool alone because Natalie was working on her mysterious project. Maybe there isn't any important in project, or any important project, thought Maryam. Maybe she just doesn't want to be friends with me anymore. Just then, the phone rang. Hi, Miriam, said Natalie. I finally finished my project. Would you like to go to the pool tomorrow? Of course, said Miriam, relieved. I'm bringing a surprise, too, said Natalie. Miriam tossed and turned all night, wondering what the surprise could be. And hopping it, and hoping it wasn't that Natalie had a new best friend, of course. We're almost done with the story. The next day at the pool, Miriam waited anxiously for Natalie to arrive outside the pool. Miriam was checking out, was checking her watch for the tenth time when she finally saw Natalie walking up to up the sidewalk wait oh okay when she finally saw Natalie walking up the sidewalk contraption Miriam tried to figure out what Natalie had in her arms, which looked like 
an inflatable mattress, but with something stuck to it. When Natalie saw Mary Ann, she waved and nearby dropped, or she waved and nearly dropped her huge contraption. Do you like the raft I made for us? Yelled Natalie. Mary Ann smiled as Natalie walked closer. She saw that the homemade pool raft was made of two smaller rafts attached to another, and it had two seats. I called, I call it a best friend's raft. Natalie said, "I want, I wanted it to be a surprise. Let's go test it out." Miriam beamed, knowing at last that she and her best friend would have fun summer, a fun summer at the pool. The end. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give a thumbs up. If you like, maybe subscribe, comment if you want, share if you enjoy what you see and you can share it with a friend you can um oh yeah like which i said before these and whatever i hope you all enjoyed Goodbye, y'all.